in looking at some of the action from earlier and Lexi Thompson for birdie at three. The putter seems to be getting warmed up here at the end of the season. Good form. Otta Munoz, how about her putter today? This for birdie at nine. Uh, this putter has been on fire. Otta, her 14th season on the LPGA Tour, would shoot three under on the front. And how about at 10? Just keep it going. Keep it rolling, Otta. Par four tenth. No, Long is it? Putt. Yes. Incredible. Maybe one of those days. CME points standing. She's number 104. Top 100 is kind of that magic number on the LPGA Tour. And she's trying to get there, and uh, she's doing a good job of getting started here. 13 putts yeah. in 12 holes now? Such a, such a lovely person. We'll go back downhill about the last foot towards the hole. Number one in scrambling on the LPGA Tour. Unable to do so at eight. Uh, with PGA Tour players, but, um, you know, we're trying to post a score alongside those guys, and if you should do it, which she is capable of doing. Mm -hmm. What do we call it? We say victorious European Solon Cup team. They tied, but they got to keep the cup. They hold the cup. They kept the cup. All right. And Leona was a star again. She did actually lose a couple of matches, but when they really needed her. Making players think a little bit about their approach shots here. Did get a little oh. bit of a gust there. Didn't like it at all. Just tugged it onto the front portion of the green, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> Marina Alex full of enthusiasm almost at any time you run into her she just oh that's such a good touch such a good touch this is Lauren Stevenson's missed the green over on the right below the level of the putting surface not an easy shot pitched it in the perfect place this is a moment ago yeah. and in it goes that's really good from Lauren Stevenson that was a very difficult shot. Oh, I crept in, didn't it? And she can. So this is 
when she entered the week 85th she'd be projected to move to 46th. Hannah had a chance last week at Pinnacle in Arkansas. Okay, that does a little victory lap. Takes her to two under par and a share of third. Three over par, needing a good one. And he's going to get one here. That on, is come on, really good. Come on. Woo -hoo. Wonderful shot. Beautiful shot. Like, do you like making a lot of birdies? Are you okay with bogeys every now and then? Or would you rather have a cleaner card? You'd rather be two under with no bogeys? I don't think it matters. It's okay. just the end result. Okay. Only has 90 yards left. This is sand wedge. So, trying to take advantage of an aggressive tee shot. Looks good. Oh, maybe Feels perfect. Mm -hmm. Lead is two for Atha Munoz. Now, one of the ways you can get 14 putts in 13 holes is to miss some greens and then get up and down. That's some of what Atha has done. She's only hit six out of 14 greens. The 14th. Is this her day, Judy? Yeah, she sure is uh, rolling the ball beautifully. championship so not many opportunities left to move inside that top 60. Arthur Munoz who's uh, playing on her maternity uh, exemption on the tour but only has a few events left for that so that 104 number that you saw there on the graphic. Play very delicately because it's all downhill towards the hole. Oh dear didn't come out how she would have liked there. Munoz left her a downhiller coming up too. Two bogeys, two birdies. It's quite amazing, Judy, that there was any kind of confidence issues anyway. The putt. Well, the KPMG insights, they don't lie. 15. Well, this putt has just been so good today for Arthur. And that. Well, I think it was the... The first effort from just short of the green that was the, the issue there. Shame for her to uh, drop a shot and fall back to four under par. The northern part of the Dallas area. That's where Celine Boutier makes her home, the DFW area. Here she is at 12, Karen. Well, she was a little bit out of position with that tee shot, but the uh, approach that's from 143 has put her in back in play and in a good spot. Tie for eighth. Here is Atha, and you can see she's now tied for the lead at 16. And yeah, and it was a good lead from there, just a very slow putt. 18 putts in 16 holes, Judy. She's missed some greens, but that's still cool, told, isn't it? Told you the putter was on fire. Yeah. I mean, nicely played uh, to get it back into position. Because you know, these greens are pretty tricky. Skinny. No. Oh. So how did they come to be playing for Little Brown Drug? 96 yards plays a yard uphill and about three yards of wind back into her face. I play that number. If she's a little long, that's okay. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Yeah, I was talking to her husband, Tim Vickers. This is where Boutier finished up and doesn't have any tree trouble by the looks of things. No, it has a lot of green to use as well. coming out of that rough can get it to stop and if you think about the two players that went for the green the green sits to them diagonally yeah just walking it in so nice to have that confidence in the putter and the big smile well, this is one of the sponsor invites Lauren Miller from Ohio an SMU golfer. And she's one of those taking advantage of an opportunity. Back to even par, playing in the last group out in the morning wave. Got that SMU belt on. 
Good to see all the great work that you do for the junior golfers. Wasn't there a movie that said uh, the children are going to be all right? Uh, these kids are going to be more than all right. They they were just fabulous uh, young people and golfers. Goodyear missing out on the birdie putt. And just tell us why it's called the JTR Suitcase Fund. Um, we were a very modest people. My mother was very ill. My father was going to take me to. She was great. She just was a joy to watch. And a year ago, she was had just reshuffled up the priority list. Up at the 18th, playing the first tee time of the day, which we weren't sure was going to begin on time after that heavy rain, but it did. Arthur Munoz. This, from 146 yards, this is on a good line. Oh, great shot. Really beautiful shot. Gives herself a great opportunity with that hot putter. It's been a rough stretch this summer for Marina Alex. She's missed six of her last seven cuts, but this to tie the lead. Here's Drybora, 64th in the race to the Sydney Globe. The Scott, who was conditionally exempt when last year began, but kept reshuffling up with good finishes and broke through with a victory in Japan. That's only because it's hanging off the left side. You really don't want to go long. Good shot. Par putt for Marina Alex. Finishing up in the first tee timeout today, off the Munoz for a closing birdie. Finally missed one. 22 putts, Judy, in a round of 66. It's going to be for Atha. This is Sydney Clanton, who just won on the Epson Tour a couple of weeks ago in Alabama. And rolls yeah, one in at the 12th for Birdie. So she played well in Cincinnati. The next week won on the Epson Tour. Here is Yalini No at the 12th. You see she's 120th in the race to the CME Globe. That's even after her best finish of the season last week. A Solheim Cup participant in 2021 who's really struggled, but... Well, the player had the the longest second shot in here has the shortest birdie try. That's the kind of thing that drives you nuts in match play. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a hair of hurt in this shot. Ooh, right on it. It was dancing around the flag. I think she's a bit unfortunate there. That didn't end up closer. Boutier now for birdie. That was a really cold year. Well, we had a couple of really cold events, mm. didn't we? There were U.S. Women's Open when A. Lim Kim was the surprise winner in Houston. That was freezing on the final day. It's a rush on hand warmers. This is Maria Ho Uribe. Who got off to a nice start today, starting at the 10th, played the front nine a couple under, two birdies in the first four holes, and she ends the day with a birdie, coming into the week. One, five, three. Going to be a very important week for a lot of players. Let's go to six. And Paige McKenzie's been all over Old American today. She's now with Marina Alex. Yeah, and this one's going to run back up this hill. Not bad in distance control. Kind of a wavy green. Pretty much uphill. Um, left herself in a really good spot here. And that's hard to do on this green. Find the, the right spot to putt from. And oh my God, so Judy, just 11 players are under par. Are you surprised? I am surprised. I, <clears throat> I thought the golf course was going to kind of leave itself open to some a lot of low scores with a little bit of rain last night. Promising. Oh! Nearly perfect. Stepping away on maternity leave. And a good, good score, two under par. This is seven iron. 
The safe play is left of this pin, but the best leave is to the right of it. Yeah, good shot there. She's going along well. Good chance to tie the lead. Anna Norquist was the first in 2013. Now Celine Boutier. It's just from 94 yards, back into the wind. Oh, right on it. Yeah, nicely done. Ties the lead. So a couple of uh, past Solheim Cup players, one from either side of the Atlantic, tied for the lead. I thought once you become a mom out here, maybe you use your time better. Uh, maybe you're less, you know, as golfers, it's a very solo game, and we're all pretty, um, when you get away from that and... Uh, And there. things are more important uh, sometimes off the course than on the course you play better it, it's it's good for the psyche and so she's taken a lot of her right hand out of the stroke and she has stuck with it look like a really good Beautiful stroke putt. anyway so many changes that she made putting were experimental didn't work went away this and that but that right hand position has stayed for some long time still a tricky read though on the putt and i think that's one of the reasons why the scores aren't quite as good i started the right but ended up finding the hole so finishing up up ahead lindsey weaver right this is her home course old american how about this day? Trying to make your last start a winning one. And the veteran from Australia, Sarah Kemp, 72nd in the race to the CME Globe. This for birdie at 16. She has played some really good golf this year. Yes. And playing really good golf today. The chance to get back to the CME Group Tour Championship. Off the upslope, grain shouldn't be much of an issue. It's really just going to be some touch on this delicate shot. I like this one Bad. better than over the green. That's such a tough shot. Yeah. Sounded crisp. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Chance to finish birdie, birdie. This one's got a little bit more height to it. Yeah, just got eaten up by the wind a little bit. She got away with it. To the ninth. Yeah, last hole here for Leona Maguire. Trying to left uh, off the tee into the fairway as it doglegs from left to right. Bunkers down the right side to be avoided. Tom, if you ever get invited to a match play competition, I think you should ask. And at the 18th, Celine Boutier. And that's a nine on from 131. Hit a little punchy shot into that wind. And that put for a 69. She leads both the race to the Costa del Sol on the Ladies European Tour and the race to the Simi Globe, Judy. Where you miss it, right? She missed it short. Yeah, I think I think over this green, we have seen a couple of bars made, but it's very difficult from over the green. Downhill from here. Yeah. Down and in. Very solid. not known for their patience, Judy. I can speak from experience yes. as a father of three. Yes. Um, well, you know, I think the bad start's hard for every player. I don't care if you're experienced, not experienced, whatever. She was playing really strong. And each day they got more confidence in her. Disappointed not to get the birdie to drop.